Okay, how are we doing out there today? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2. Um, today we're going to be painting on, because tomorrow, actually, one thing I have to add really quick, the YouTube shut um, drop was pretty crazy. But anyway, um, the uh, kits that we had with the projectors, they're sold out for right now. We don't have any more of those in stock. Customer came in yesterday, got the last one. Um, as for the screen paint being sold separately, that is a screen paint we're showing off the one that actually had the ability to make a 720p look very close to a 4K projector. That will be launching tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow when it launches. So anyway, this is some of the paint right here. Now we're gonna change one thing to the name. Uh, it's gonna be called the Illuminous Amulite Rejection. It's still been AG47 Platinum, but it'd be a cinema. So, uh, working on the labels for that, but right now we are going to paint in the 120 inch, sorry, 100, 100 inch 169 tension screen. Keep in mind, I sprayed this one. Now we're just going to roll over top of it, show you how easy you can just coat or anything you want. All right, so we're not going to use a paint pan or not, nothing like that because, you know, some of these demonstrations, they go a little too far with the painting instructions. Like you really, it doesn't take, you really don't have to worry about going up and down or side to side, really doesn't make a difference. You're not going to streak the screen in any way whatsoever. And I would suggest you not using a very thin uh, foam roller because that will streak your screen eventually. Um, I like to use this a big boy everyday nap roller and that's pretty much it. That's all you need. So we're going to pour some of the paint right here. So all we need to do, you don't need a paint pan. I never use it. I use a paint pan from time to time, but usually I don't. I just roll it onto a piece of, uh, of um, plexiglass or anything I have laying around. And that's it. So we're going to paint the screen in. All right. We are going to... I like to do the edges first. Let me make sure I got my zoom. I think my zoom is in or out. I'm not sure. I'm just... Right, my zoom is out. Okay. Okay, so... Get down to the bottom. So, that's it. I just like to get my corners. That's all. A little pressure there. That's it. So it soaks in really good with the frog tape. There you go. Very easy to do. You know what I mean? Pour a little bit of this on here. I'm just doing my edges. That's all. You don't have to do your edges this way. It's up to you on how you want to do your edges, but you don't have to do your edges that way. It's up to you on how you want to do it. This is how I do it. I just apply a little pressure to the bottom of the screen. That's it. Or, like I said, if you want to do it this way, I'll take a little bit on the tip. That's it. And I go along the side of the screen. That's another way you can do it. That's it. So that's another way. You can apply it on if you're doing your motorized screen. And I'll show you how to... I'm going to order a, um, a small fixed frame screen. I'm going to show you how to paint the fixed frame screen without um, taking it apart. Because there's a way to do it without taking the screen apart. And I have to put it all back together again. All right? I like to do mine this way. Apply some pressure there, right across here. Got a little paint trying to run down the side of the screen. Here we go, catch that real quick. All right, so get the edges. Come over here, apply a little bit on the end. I always do the end piece right here, right on the end. That's it. No, it's no, it's no, it's, it doesn't. It's not a rocket. It's not. You have to be a rocket scientist to paint a screen in. That's all to it. If some people want to make it look complicated, but it's not. Same thing, like you're gonna paint your wall in your home, same way you're gonna paint the screen. That's it. All right, grab a little more here. All right, so the paint we're using is the Platinum, the AG47 Platinum, so that's what we're using.
Make sure you get it real good behind that frog tape because that's what's going to give you that laser cut edge. Back it up, see what we have already. All right, drop a little bit more paint down. That's it. Sorry about that. I had the camera down for a minute. I do apologize for that. Sorry about that. So I'm just running it right across top. Put a little more on the roller. That's it. Some people are terrified that they're going to mess up the screen. I'm like, no, you're not going to mess the screen up. You're not going to mess it up. I'm just doing my edges. I am doing this with one hand. So if I can paint this screen in with one hand, you can do it easily with both. Sorry about that. So now the edges are painted in. You can take your roller if you want. I'm using a long roller just to let you know. And I'm just going along the side of the edges like so. That's it. Now, sometimes I get a little residue off. I just take my hand there, just take off a little residue. If I've got a little residue in there, I should take it off like so. Take my roller, go right back over top of it. That's it. Everything is good as new. Now, all that's rolled in, all that's done. We're gonna pour a little more here. That's it, get the roller a little bit more soaked down with some paint. That's it. Come in and just go up and down. Fill in the blanks. So all you're doing is just meeting up. Where you put the border in from the bottom from line, from here, you're just meeting up. That's all you're doing. That's the, it's the way I do it. Everybody has their own way on how they're going to paint in the screen. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. You don't have to do it that way if you don't want to. Paint it in any way you want. That's how I do it. Step back, show you what we got. Come over here. You know, I'm not going in any particular special formation, just going up and down in the screen. That's it. Show you how much we got left. Come back. Now I'm, I'll tell you something. Demonstrations that I do is that I uh, will dry the screen, paint it right in front of you. So you can see when you're in how it's going to dry, what it's going to look like. Hey, right now, not easy to paint a screen with one hand. Yeah, especially when you're using a long, long handle. And there you go, step back, we're all done. That's it. 
my battery's dying on my phone. I'm in mean my um camera, so let me get this started here. All right, projector sitting back, 13 feet from the screen. All right, let's track down the cell phone. There you go. There's the screen, all dried, all done. Painted in no time, fully lit environment. We're not even going to throw the fan on it. And I'll just show you, fully lit environment. Plenty of light, took me no time at all to paint that screen. That's how long the handle was I was using to paint the screen. Really hard to do when you paint a screen with a handle that long. But there you are, fully lit environment, fully lit environment, fully lit environment, sorry about that. Projector sits back around 13 feet from the screen. And this is what we get. Hitting these switches on the back of my, uh, my larger screens behind it. You can see what it looks like. Lights out, this is what we get. We're done, that's it. That's how fast it took me to paint a motorized screen. Now this paint right here is the one we're showing up when we're doing side by side uh, with the 4K uh, versus the 720p. It has something called 4K enhancement technology which allows a 720p projector to look absolutely incredible. Now I'm at a 720p projectors, they're all gone. Like I said, we sold out. Um, I'm going to be purchasing another one for myself and um, you're gonna see, we're gonna do the side-by-side -side demonstration as we did up here. Now this projector behind me is 4K, but like I said, we're gonna do it again on a 720p projector side-by-side -side next to the 4K uh, to show you how advanced the technology is. And keep in mind, like I said, fully lit environment. Now, for those of you that are interested in getting your hands on that screen paint, um, it will be available on the 18th. One quart will be going for around $309. Uh, we will have it available in two quarts also very soon. So I'm going to show you the angle, how fantastic that looks. And that's why I like to do these demonstrations right out of the box, right out of the, hit the screen. I'm going to show you exactly what you're getting on our end. Let me see if I can find something. I'm looking for this. I always I've noticed when I'm looking for something, I can never find it on this phone. I know it's here, I just can't find it. So my battery's gonna die on my on my camera very soon. Charged it last night, but you know, hey, teach his own thing. Sometimes I think my battery's my, my camera's about to go. I've had it for quite some time. I've had this camera for at least about good four or five years. I'm trying to get another one. Now I've done this demonstration before, but just want to show you really quick for the battery dies on the camera. Like I said, fully lit environment. We don't do anything in the dark over here. All the lights are on. A lot of light in here. No time at all to paint my motorized screen. I'm done. Now, like I said, the projector kits, we don't have them anymore. They are officially sold out. They're going. They went quick. Now later on, next demonstration, we're gonna roll the screen up, roll the screen down, and have some fun with it, watch some more demonstrations off of it, besides these particular ones right here. We'll put some new ones on here, and you'll get a chance to see exactly how amazing the screen paint is. It will be launching, like I said. It'll only be available in one quart, and one, and one, sorry, one quart and two quarts, but it will be available on the 18th. And this is the screen paint that gives a 720p the technology to come very close to a 4K. If you're curious about seeing that demonstration, please check out the links below. You'll get a chance to see the side-by-side -side, side -by -side demonstrations. If you go to our Facebook Crystal Edge channel, you get a chance to see it live. All right, from my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from a luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology gain times two. 
Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for your time. I think I said that twice. Have to go and God bless. Just gonna play a little more. That screen is still wet. Don't even have the fan in front of it. I'll tell you, when I showed off this paint, a few people were saying, well, you know, you didn't calibrate the 4K projector. You didn't calibrate the projectors. Let me tell you something really quick. The average person who wants a home theater in his home does not want to sit there and calibrate his projector. He doesn't. He or she just wants to basically set it up and be done with it. That's it. Take it out of the box, plug in the projector, paint the screen, and be done with it. They don't want to go through calibration. They don't want to go through sitting in the dark. They don't want to go through that nonsense. They just don't. They want to be able to use their screen in a fully lit environment with no problem. They're replacing, they're putting these screens in their living rooms, in church halls, in, in rec rooms. They don't want this in the dark. They want to be able to use a screen in a fully lit environment. Yes, if they're watching movies, all good and well. but. Think about it. If you're replacing your TV for a projection screen and you have to sacrifice the fact that you're going to be sitting in the dark because you're, you're running the fear of your screen fading and washing out, what is the point of buying a projector to begin with? So this is why when I tell people that my customers want a high grade, high professional screen that they don't have to spend four to $5,000 $5, for an expensive screen. And keep in mind, they can use it in a full lit environment, they can take it outside because it's weatherproof, they can paint it on anything they want. It looks absolutely fantastic. And they don't have to worry about calibrating. People saying you gotta calibrate your projector. A lot of people don't wanna calibrate. They just want something to take out of the box, paint, be done with it. Turn on all the other lights, have the company come over and enjoy their screen in a fully lit environment. Now, if you got a dedicated movie theater all in well, yeah, you're gonna definitely be in the dark, okay? Fine by that. But most of my customers are using this in their living rooms, like I said, rec rooms, churches, commercial property. You're not gonna see a lot of churches sitting all in the dark to watch a projection screen. It has to be able to provide an image in a fully lit environment. All right, on that note, I'm going to leave out of here. Thank you all for your time again, and God bless. I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2. This right here is our new Illuminous. Like I said, it was supposed to be packaged with the kits, but the kits are now sold out, so we're gonna sell it separately. This is our new Illuminous Amulite Rejection AC47 Platinum Cinema. All right, will be available on the 18th of this month with free worldwide shipping. Thank you all for your time, and 